right now I'm on a big misandry kick. I'm rereading Dungeon Meshi and in like every element of how the story is constructed, I'm just sort of like, I'm doing the like pro-essentialism thing right now where I'm thinking, man, maybe women are just more human than men. Uh, maybe like men are socialized into being like rock people uh, because um, the emotiveness, you know, you just don't, it's like you, it's like the difference in like reading a, a chapter that's erotic in anything written by a woman where they actually put some effort in. And then you look at like, I don't know, comic done by a guy and it's like the eroticism is when the girl has big boobs and she just stands there and she's like hello <laughs> i don't know it's crazy men just want to dig holes and be dwarfs and bury uh, dwarfs that's true that is true women can't dig holes which is a big problem with them like as a as a species so maybe that's like the divide right my gf has basically never dated a guy because men are socialized into emotionally regressed rock dwarves that's this is why i couldn't date a guy it's not that i don't find men attractive there are plenty of guys that i find attractive it's just they're horrible to deal with by like on average guys are so exhausting to deal with uh i just i can't believe it i feel so bad for straight men gay men have their own resiliency you know like like pure gay men uh they, they have their own thing going on but like oh my god it's it's not an essential thing either like it's not there's nothing fundamental about it it's just like christ Pretty sure Vosh has already talked about this before. Yeah, it's it's a it's a common gripe. Yeah, for sure. Biphobic cis women going unchecked. Biphobic? You mean lesbians or straight women? I know a biphobic straight woman. YouTube chat is being YouTube chat. Oh, do they not appreciate the the like insightful gender commentary that I'm offering? Lots of straight women do be biphobic. Yeah, but keep in mind, like straight women, honestly, barely even women. Vosh is literally describing himself when he talks about men who are exhausting you with. Yeah, no shit, obviously. Where the fuck do you think my perspective comes from? Actually, I think that when it comes to being emotionally open, I'm far better than most guys. I can, I can, I will, will fully cop to that. That is true. Generally exhausting to deal with? Still, of course. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. But for, like, different reasons. Yeah. What about trans hetero women? Do, do you trust that? Heterosexual trans women. Do you trust that? Just alarm bells ringing, honestly. I mean... Yeah, maybe valid? I don't know. Hmm. What's going on there, huh? That's crazy. There's something going on there and I'm not sticking around to find out. Yeah. Do you think it's due to autism? I'm also autistic and I find that I'm way more open than a lot of people. Um, maybe, but if that's the case, then autistic men are objectively better than non-autistic men. Uh, men are so f insecure about being direct and open with people and it literally, like, ruins their lives, like, every time. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy! It's so... It's so obvious from the outside, too. Like, we've all had friends who are guys who are, like, obviously suffering in silence and just, like, don't open up or talk or whatever. Like, it's it's genuinely crazy, you know? It's it's wild. It's insane. See, emotionally open men, like Artemy over here, this is something to, uh, to learn from. The big fat idiot, okay? We should all aspire to this. Nah, he's stoic. Ah, well, no. He's just lazy. He's very friendly. Judging from your media takes, I expect you to jump down the throat of someone you're on a date with who says something complimentary about the MCU or whatever. First of all, I would never f somebody who likes the MCU. So like right off the bat, we're disqualified, okay? Like I I'm not in that position because I have taste, okay? Second of all, even when I am on a date with people and they say something I don't agree with, I don't usually argue. I don't like arguing with like dates, okay? There's like, I, I, I know it doesn't come across this way, but my job here is to be a sort of like very direct version of myself. I'm actually capable of like leaning back a little bit if I haven't touched one parentheses, one booby yet, you know, like there's some level of, of, of sort of like temperance you have to engage in, I think, as anyone, guy or girl, or some other non guy or girl thing, if, if you could even imagine that, uh, when you're on a date, what do you do if you realize your date's conservative? It's never happened to me. As an emotionally open man, my experience was straight women still want to date the rock men, but get weirdly possessive about not rock men that they aren't interested in romantically. It's weird. Yeah, I feel like a lot of straight women aren't actually attracted to men, at least not like the kind of guy they actually go after. There's just some sort of like um, ingrained social value they see in sort of like big, protective, strong, masculine dudes, but they don't actually like them that much. Like they don't find them that attractive or interesting, but they're sort of like a stabilizing force. But then the women tend to be like much more interest. This is why the gay best friend is a thing, right? The opposite of that isn't as much of a thing. Like guys having a like lesbian chick best friend, like you have, of course, like Nothing's impossible. I'm just saying it's not as much of an archetype. And the reason for that is literally because straight women crave some kind of like 
emotionally engaging relationship with a guy, even not in a romantic context. And gay men tend to be a lot more direct about that. Um, a lot of people say it's because uh, women find gay men non-threatening, and I actually think that's wrong. Um, I don't think that's why. Maybe that's the case in some cases, but I think in a lot of cases, it's just because gay men tend to be a lot more like emotionally direct, straightforward, and easy to talk to than straight men, you know? Imagine being a straight woman and having like a friendship with a straight guy. I feel like people literally, like it's a whole subset of comedy how impossible this is because the presumption is the only reason a guy and a girl who are both straight would ever like engage with each other is romantically. But doesn't that imply both of them are boring like part listen okay i'm not i'm not above it all if i'm around a cute girl like i am thinking of her date like i don't like yeah like i find people hot like fuck off i don't give a shit okay but like i can be around a hot chick and just like talk and have fun like there's no there's no being attracted to somebody does not prevent you from just being normal around them that's fine. That's like a normal thing, right? So when people are like, oh, well, there's no way for a guy and a girl to be in a relationship when you're trying to, like, what? So isn't the implication then that, like, they're both boring and would have nothing to seek from one another except for the romantic or sexual element? Like, and if that's the case, then why are you boring? Stop being boring. Like, why? What? It's really, really weird. This isn't like a prudishness thing. I don't give a f if there are straight guys who are just like at work thinking of their like hot coworkers, I don't give a shit. What the hell? It's no, that's not hurting anyone. I don't give a f yeah. Like, don't be weird to them, but like, sure, okay. But that shouldn't have anything to do with the ability to just be friendly with them. Those are two completely separate issues. Those are those are not even remotely in the same ballpark. Unless a person is implying they lack the self control to be normal to a person they're attracted to, if, in which case, skill issue, skill issue, skill issue. Honestly, ridiculous. Women, yeah, women have to deal with being normal around people they're attracted to all the time, especially like bi or lesbian women. Okay, so you, like, if you basically what I'm saying is, if you a guy can't be normal to a chick you find attractive you're saying you're weaker than women and, and frankly you know that's how i don't know that seems like that seems like an issue with you personally it couldn't be me couldn't be me you don't understand i do a cartoony gulp and my eyes pop out of my head when i see hot people like steam comes out of your ears and stuff that's cool i strongly feel like this depends on the individual i mean obviously it does but like what depends you know i'm, I'm not talking about like how different people are i'm being prescriptive here you should be able to be normal around people you're attracted to um, the, the inability for a lot of guys to hold an interesting conversation is like, okay, in fairness, a lot of women are very boring, but they're boring for different reasons. I feel like women are boring because they're socialized into not being, uh, overly, uh, assertive or taking up too much space with their socializing. Like women are socialized into like, be demure, be quiet, let other people do the talking. Or they get kind of like cowed into doing that, like they get shamed for being more direct or open or whatever. But when guys are boring, I feel like it's because there's some like weird, there's something much more internal going on. I, I don't know. It's like it's much, I, it's, it's way, way, way weirder. I feel like a good example of this is that many times in my life, I've had interactions with women where the woman was quite boring. And then later, after getting to know her a bit better, she opened up and was like interesting and engaged and normal. But I don't think that's ever happened to me with a guy. If I've met a guy, they were either at like meeting at first meeting interesting and like engaged or they never will be. It's almost like whatever's making them that way is like way more internal than just some socialization it, d dictating that they be kind of restrained in public, you know? Bosh, we don't need to gender this. Most people are boring. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm just talking about like what gendered elements are making a person boring. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just, I feel like a lot of guys just don't. What about you, Artemy? You're very open with your feelings. Whenever you want food, you go, Mah! and we listen, and that's why you're fat. Boom, boom, boom. Nope, don't attack me. No, he was grabbing his foot. Aw. Chad is being dumb as a straight guy. I've had way more female friends than guy friends. And it's because most guys I talk to are only interesting when we're playing video games. Beyond that, they only speak in ironic detached humor. Yeah, yeah, the ironic detached humor thing f kills me, dude. Oh my god. The Listen, ironic detached humor is fine. I do it literally all the time. But, like, you have to temper that with sincerity. And a lot of guys would rather die. A lot of guys would rather die than be earnest and sincere, you know? Like, here's something that you can reliably get if you have friends who are women. Uh, uh, not just women. So again, I'm generalizing very heavily here. I'm being, like, pseudo-essentialist for the purpose of simplifying the conversation. But if you have, like, 
female friends, you can hang out with them and they can say like, you know, I had a really nice time tonight or whatever else, you know, just some normal shit like that. And that's always nice to hear. But with guys, like some guys, it feels like they would rather chew their own foot off than say anything direct and sincere. Like just end like, hey, I am enjoying the time that we are having together. This was a nice time that we had hanging out. That was a lot of fun. We should do it again. A lot of guys just can't do that. Again, not all guys, blah de blah but yeah, that, that, that inability to be earnest is just like very draining sometimes. It's, it's exhausting to, to, to deal with. You could never say I had a good night to another guy. They'd think you're trying to, f um, you mean like as a woman? Yeah, that's, that's probably like an issue there, I guess. Probably like more of a heterosexual thing, but yeah. What I found is that if you open up like that first, a lot of guy will be off put immediately, but then we'll be able to do it more often. Yeah, sometimes. Vosh, it's been like that for a long time too. You'd get called gay for that like 30 years ago. Okay, I think that's true to an extent, but you can be earnest and straightforward in a very heterosexual way too. It doesn't always have to be like um, a quiet moment where you sincerely express your appreciation for your friends or whatever. You can be like a boisterously earnest person. That's also a kind of guy. You can be like, hey, you know, it's what a wonderful time we had. Da, da, da. Like you, you can be like, assertive and aggressive and direct about being earnest. Earnestness doesn't necessarily imply femininity or weakness, but I think people associate it with that because like it's it's like the rock dwarf like brain thing. Yeah, like being merry, you know? Merriness is is like a almost exclusively male coded trait. There's nothing innately masculine about it, obviously, but still like when we think of a guy who's jolly or merry, that's like a guy thing, right? It doesn't have to be. I'm just saying, like, there are ways to be earnest and sincere that don't fall into the... I also feel like a lot of guys get disincentivized to be earnest because they'll be accused of mansplaining. I think about that D&D &D YouTuber who quit because... Of... Joe Cat. A lot of left-leaning women accused him of being creepy over his I Like Girls parody song. Yeah, you're talking about Joe Cat. In fairness, Joe Cat is earnest in a very gay way, but, <laughs> but you know... But yes, yes, of course. Um, earnestness in guys is often shamed. But if you're just, like, with your friends or whatever, and even then, like, you, you know, like... If, regardless of any other social explanations for why things are the way they are, or, you know, uh, whatever else, that doesn't mean you can't be pleasant to be around. Whatever, I'm just ranting. Honestly, were there any women who actually took offense to Joe Cat's thing, or was everyone being performative and weird? I'm sure there were people who felt that they were offended. <laughs> I don't know.